In the miracle of creation, nature brought the earth into balance to support life and the growing of all living things. As our planet came into existence, the beauty of nature and the wonder of life has made our world amazing and abundant. Nature finds a way for life to flourish and Fiji is no exception. Rising from the ocean as volcanic islands, Fiji became a lush tropical paradise. This was nature in balance. All life on land begins with the soil. Without healthy soil, there would be no life. In nature, the plants absorb the nutrients from the soil and eventually return them to the soil. Plants use light and water to grow. They take CO2 from the air and convert it to oxygen. Animals eat the plants, breathe the oxygen and return the CO2 to the air. They too eventually return the chemical elements to the soil. This is all tied into the natural life cycles of the entire planet. It has been the goal of modern agriculture to understand these complex systems. As man cleared the rainforest and learned to farm the land, these natural cycles were disrupted because of harvesting and also transporting of animals for food to other locations. This caused a depletion in the nutrients in the soil and upset the balance. The goal of successful farming is to create maximum yields and therefore profits for the farmer. As we move into the 21st century, the importance of agriculture cannot be minimized. Because of Fiji's natural resources, it can not only provide enough food for its own people, but can provide healthy natural food to meet the demands from other countries. Fiji has not been contaminated by the questionable practices of big agriculture in many other parts of the world. Because of this, the prosperity and happiness of our people is tied to the continuation of intelligent farming practices. As more modern concepts of agriculture developed, farmers started to replace the nutrients in the soil by the application of fertilizers, both organic and chemical. This went a long way to create a viable farming industry in Fiji, but it did not address another vital element to keep nature in balance. The health of the soil in Fiji is in danger. It has become overly acidic. This could ruin farming in Fiji if not addressed. This may become the most critical factor for agriculture. It is the pH factor. The yields have been getting progressively worse as the acidity of the soil has been increasing. The pH factor is the measure of acidity or the alkaline properties of the soil. On one end of the scale is the acid level of the soil and the other end is the alkaline level. If the soil is too acid, nothing will grow. And if the soil is too alkaline, the same holds true. But when the pH factor is brought into balance, then the benefits to the farmer become obvious. Keeping the pH in balance results in better growth and higher yield per hectare or acre, healthier plants and animals, more efficient absorption of nutrients, better absorption of water and of sunlight. We know the exact range of pH, which maximizes the potential of the land. pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14. 0 is completely acid and 14 is completely alkaline. Neutral or slightly acidic is the best balance for the soil. A range on the pH scale between 5.5 and 7 is the ideal level for most crop plants. The same procedure in agriculture, which can deplete the nutrient of the soil, can also bring the pH level out of balance by making the soil much too acid. The acid in the soil doesn't allow the root of the cane to uptake all the elements that are being brought for cane production. And this is one of the reasons why cane production may be affected over the years. Each subsequent year, as the acidity increases, the availability of 
soil nutrients is reduced, so fertilizers become less effective. The plant roots struggle to obtain enough water from the soil, and crop yields get smaller and smaller. The plants struggling to grow under these conditions will require more sunlight and more water. Resting land that has become acidic does not restore production. What can be done to keep the pH factor of the soil in balance? If you find that the soil of your farm is acidic, you should apply lime. And uh, they were already using lime, but uh, they couldn't really use much because importing it cost a fortune, uh, over $600 a tonne. Um, still, they were importing little bits, and we saw the value of that already. The application of crushed limestone will balance the pH of the soil and the crops will return to the greater yields we have seen in the past. This will all happen without increasing the use of fertilizers. In fact, the effectiveness of fertilizers will increase. Fortunately, Fiji has an abundant supply of limestone as one of its natural resources. Enough natural limestone to keep the soil of Fiji in balance for thousands of years. Uh, so we worked with our other program, Market Development Facility which uh, worked with Standard and Concrete to try to find a way that they could produce local agricultural lime. We managed to find a solution together and now Standard and Concrete have gone ahead with this agreement with us and uh, it's around a third of the price it would have been before, a third to maybe one, one fifth of the price. Mm. So it's something that's now viable for farmers to try and we know from the research that, that we did that the soils are very acidic so a lot of the nutrients are locked up in the soil. So if we can get the lime in there, that should release some of it and increase the productivity and therefore the incomes to the farmers. The first step is to test the soil. Soil pH is measured by collecting a soil sample to a depth of 20 centimetres from each cropping area you intend to lime on your farm. And having the sample tested by a laboratory testing service to measure the pH. The samples are collected by walking a W or Z-shaped pathway through each area to be tested. By stopping every few meters along each leg of the W or Z-shaped path, 15 to 20 samples are collected using a soil sampling probe. These samples come to the lab for testing. Once the pH level has been established, the proper pH balance can be achieved with the application of crushed limestone. The application methods vary depending on the particular crop or livestock being farmed. Mechanical lime spreaders can evenly apply lime to a cropping field, which is especially helpful for grazing fields for livestock. Good results can be achieved by hand application to the part of the soil that is most likely to give us a benefit. The lime can be mixed with the soil prior to planting such crops as ndalo. For sugarcane, the lime can be applied directly to the rows. Growers should regularly test the pH of the soils on their cropping areas so that they can make sure that egg lime is applied where it is needed and in the correct amount. No matter what crop you are raising, keeping the soil in balance will result in better farming production and profits. Working together, we can make a big difference. We can benefit the farmer, the agricultural business, the people and country of Fiji, and the world. Put Eggline to work for you. Start today. Eggline. Keeping nature in balance.